Our next speaker doesn't need any introduction. He is Mr. Roger Binney, pres president of Karnataka State Cricket Association. And he's an integral part of the 1983 World Cup winning squad. Mr. Binney is a former Indian all-rounder who played 27 tests and 72 ODIs for India. Not just the World Cup, he was also a part of the Indian squad that won the World Cup Championship of Cricket in the year 1985. Mr. Binney first stepped into limelight when he made his first 211 against Kerala, sharing a record unbroken 451 run opening cricket partnership with Sanjay Desai in the year 1977-78. He had a different test debut against Pakistan in the year 1979 as he scored 46 in the first innings but stayed wicketless throughout the match. Mr. Binney was an aggressive batsman and a good fielder but it was his bowling mainly that kept him in the national team. His ability to swing the new ball both ways was ad added incentive before the famous Indian spin quarter were introduced in the attack. In his third test match in Bombay, uh, now called Mumbai in the year 1979, he wrecked her walk against Pakistan by dismissing Majid Khan, Zaheer Abbas and Javid Biyandad early in their first, in, first innings. India eventually won the game by 131 runs. Against West Indies in Ahmedabad in 1983, he took the wicket of Gordon Greedon, Desmond Haynes and Vivian Richard for single-digit score on the first morning. Mr. Binney's best test figure came at the Eden Gardens in the year 1987, playing against Pakistan. He picked up 6 of 56, including a spell of 4 of 9 in their first innings. Apart from his bowling, he was a hand, handy batsman in the first test against Pakistan in the year 1983. He made an unbeaten 83 in his home city, Bangalore, uh, along with Mr. Madan Lal, added 155 runs for the seventh wicket partnership. So it gives me an immense, immense pleasure to in, uh, welcome Mr. Roger Binney, the hot drop even today for a lot of uh, cricket lovers. And India is known for uh, the crazy fans that we have for cricket. So it is such an honor, Mr. Binney, to connect with you on this platform. Over to you, sir. Yeah. Uh, good afternoon to everyone. And uh, I'm uh, happy and pleased to be on your show. Well, is, is someone going to ask me questions or good. do I just speak on, good. on the subject? Good afternoon, Mr. Binney. You can go ahead and talk about the subject and your views and perspective in the field of sports uh, and in specific reference to cricket. Yeah, of course. Yeah, uh, I basically, I'm, I'm going to talk about, uh, about cricket and uh, and cricket at this point of time, you know, where, where you know there this this uh, year it, it's been it's been so. Uh, um, I mean, so so unlikely for the for the young cricketers. I mean, they've they've never been in a situation like this before. They've uh, they've had uh, they've always had few, uh, practice sessions. They have uh, had uh, coaching sessions. They've had de development programs. But this year, due to this uh, the lockdowns and uh, and the uh, what they went through, they hardly had anything to uh, to work with. Normally, this is the best time of best uh, the uh, the holiday the holiday season of the, uh, the for the for the kids is the best time for cricket development because they have free from school they can spend a lot of time at the academies and uh, and they can work on their games with the coaches. But since since this happened, they didn't have they didn't have time to come down, so they lost a lot of time to to come here and and, and work with the coaches. The the other thing was. That uh, our, our, the cricketers in the school levels and college levels, they're all age group players. So a lot of them have missed out on this year's program, which is which is the uh, 2021. Uh, so they, from next year, they may be they may be playing in the, the under 19 batch. See, so they won't have much time to play in the semi under 17 batches. So they lose out a whole year of cricket for themselves. 
they they basically they are they they the the whole cricketing programs are fallen back by a year for them. So that that is what what has happened to uh, the cricketers at the moment. But you you know, having said that, they the uh, these boys these boys basically they they may be feeling restless, so they may be they they cannot do anything much. You know, sitting at home or sitting in the in their houses or on their flats, they can't they can't expel energy like they would do on a, on a cricket field or in in a cricket academy or or some uh, cricket program that goes on. But they they still have the passion. You know, they still have the passion to play the game. So they they when when they get a chance to come back, I mean, they're going to go to come back in a, in a big way, and it, it's it's going to it's going to help them. It's going to it's also going to uh, make them make them better better cricketers, and they they'll be better organized as uh, as young players because they have, they've had a long wait, and they wait, they waited patiently. So so when when they come back, I, mean, they, I don't think anybody's going to uh, stop playing cricket. Definitely not because the passion is there. I mean they. They would uh, long alongside their their studies, which they which they have been doing online. Alongside that, they would they would they would also play the game, and and play and try and play the game to to to, to better their levels. But but it, it's been a setback for them for the uh, for the young cricketers, especially the age group cricketers, the ones that are at school, the ones that are in uh, in uh, in the academies. Because normally normally we have a, a bunch of talent talent uh, scouts that go around to schools. Watch what school matches and what school cricket, and bring them into the into our programs. So those boys, they basically they're all very raw, and they they need they need to have basic uh, development uh, coaching. So these these boys, when they come inside, they 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 spend they spend six weeks in a in a in an academy with the, with the KCA, and then they they are ready to go back into the the teams and and play higher grades of cricket. But that's that's what we couldn't do with them this year. The freshers. So what what we are what who, who's who's we're working now is just state players. The teams that belong to the under 16, to the under 19, and the, and the state 21s. They are the ones who who uh, will be looked looked at more than the than the development programs with the freshers. So at the moment, like I said, everything is at a standstill. We're only waiting and hoping that things will will move forward and. And the, and like the weights are going to make these cricketers better better players. Yeah, Mr. Binney, like you rightly said, nothing is going to stop, right? So uh, things are going to move, uh, maybe post pandemic. So uh, what what would you have to say with regard to uh, like you know we are an education institute. We have been emphasizing on the fact. Uh, for uh, on online trainings, uh, you know, uh, which is the new normal now. You know, we are trying to adapt. The students are getting uh, accustomed to the change. You know, and uh, you know, each one of us have, uh, you know, so uh, quickly made, you know, bought in this change to, uh, you know, uh, bought in this uh, change and adapted the new normal. Is there a possibility of having? online sessions for uh, training or coaching on any sport uh, specifically the game of cricket yeah we actually you can you can do online uh, sessions with the children basically it will be it will be uh, uh, you, uh, not much of cricket but a lot of etiquette a lot of rules you know and uh, it it will be it, it won't be unless you're hands on with the player you know, it's not really going to help so we need to get at least with the players coming down, 20 of them coming down, work with two coaches, you know, hands on. And that's the only way you can get things across. Because sitting and sitting and watching a screen, and they've, they've seen enough of television, you see. They've, they've watched so much of television on television. So, so it, which, is a, which is a learning tool if it's taken uh, um, seriously. So I do think online, online uh, would, be, would really work out with these kids. You know, you better have better off having them. Hands on. We have heard a lot about experiential training from our previous speakers, so I, I definitely understand the point that you're trying to make. That you know, theory just might not help them get hand, hands-on experience. Probably, even if it has to be a small batch of uh, students or the players to you know get them on board and train them is essential. 
for the sport of cricket, right? So uh, thank you so much, uh, Mr. Bini, for uh, uh, probably uh, giving your insight uh, on the uh, you know game of cricket. So I, I know that uh, you know it, it's a dream come true for a lot of us hearing here, and my personal. Uh, you know, interest or favorite sport has been cricket. It's a real honor and pleasure to be interacting with you and sharing the same platform as in on this webinar. Yeah, thank you so much for being uh, there uh, today. So uh, now I have another question coming up. Uh, what is the future of the training schools? Now we don't know how long this pandemic would go. I know that uh, there has been a lot of endurance towards getting students in small batches in different timings so that you know we still take care of the personal hygiene and the required guidelines put up by government. Yeah. But uh, yeah. you know, how, how is the, what's the future and uh, how are we uh, planning to make it better and what kind of precautions are we taking in the institutions which train uh, the students on this specific sport? Yes, it, it is. It's not easy to, you know, to to bring down 30, 30 to 40 kids and put them in, put them into close proximity, you know, and uh, and uh, you know, make them make them go through the motions. So I I I think what what we plan to do is basically not not get in the fresh years, like I said earlier, with the newcomers who we who we have the development programs and we have coaching for them, basic coaching. That's that's the first programs they come in. So we would look at having having the senior boys, the boys who have played for the state under 16, the states under 19, to come in, come into the program and and follow all norms which have been set by the uh, by the KSC and by the uh, Board of Control for Cricket in India. They we have, we have set down certain conditions and how if if we start net sessions, how the boys should uh, train, what they should be doing, what they shouldn't be doing, you know, and and uh, the testing procedures. So, so we we would basically look at look at the boys who have already been through us in the, uh, the under 14 and the under 16 and the under 19. So since they understand they understand uh, much better, they they don't need the guidance which they, which are fresher needs. So they basically they experienced uh, cricketers. So so they would they would they would be better off to come into the sessions, probably in batches of uh, 15 or 20 of them at the most, and work alongside the coaches with all safety procedures in place. And this is when this yeah this this again we we're looking at it if, if it's going to take even longer then we would have to we would have to uh, get the boys onto the, onto the onto the field for their matches they have to go through the matches and and and, uh, and they uh, because that that on these performances they get picked for the state teams also and for the uh, country. so we would have to get them on and and uh, we will we will do it with the, with the following the proper, the proper procedures and SOPs. Set by set by every all the boards and the and the government too. Great. What would be your advice to the uh, aspiring sports person? Yeah. Well, uh, I I think uh, uh, for a young sportsman I mean, coming through the ranks, I mean, there's you have you have a lot of hurdles. I mean, it's not it's not an easy. First of all, it's not very really easy to hit the top. Because in, in a cricket team, only 11 players. Uh, or even any other, any other team, 11, 11 players can, can find a place in the team. So it, it's got to, it's got to, it's got to be a lot of hard work that you put inside. You got, you got to be focused. You got, you got to have a lot of sacrifice, a lot of commitment, and and I, I think you should never give up at any time. You know, never give it, give it, a, give it, a, give it your best shot till till the finish. When you feel that you, okay, you tried everything and you sincerely worked. That is that is my advice to a young uh, sportsman coming through. Yes, definitely. You know, every every aspiring uh, you know sports youth would want to be a Roger Binney, would want to be a Sachin Tendulkar, and but they definitely need to focus on uh, you know uh, their dreams. Without looking back, not giving up, be determined. You know, perseverance is something that they need to really, uh, you know, uh, keep them going. Is yeah. what I would like to say. So, 
let me just take few more questions uh, okay. i guess the audience have few more questions coming your way okay during this pandemic how different is the selection criteria going to be i know that now the team india is currently in dubai and nothing has stopped us being you know being there and uh, you know actively taking part in the upcoming ipl uh, mm -hmm. but yes so now going forward uh, how how the situation uh, going to change how will the selection criteria or you know anything uh, of that kind would affect the younger generation so what would be the uh, the extraordinary parameters that one would uh, look for uh, along with of course the skill sets for uh, being you know uh, the competencies for playing cricket but other than that what is that you would advise that one need to possess basically at, at the moment that the cricketers will be picked from their performance in the previous years in previous matches what is what previous season which finished last year so most of them will be picked on that performance but going forward from now they do they've, they've all all had a long break from the game every every single one of them has, has not had any much of cricket uh, cricket activity in the last probably 4 to 5 months so it's going to, it's going to take a little bit of time for them to for them to get the rhythm back it takes it takes a few matches to get the rhythm back but after three or four games you'll find that they'll be back to their to their original game so and, and the the selectors are basically looking looking to again to fill in the slots which they which they, which they need from, from these uh, performances bottom line is you have to perform I mean, there's no way you can do a team without any performance without any wickets without any runs um, to back you so the selectors of strikers will be looking out to see who could in fit in those, those slots and and you know, replace the ones that they are looking to drop on the side so it's all it's all basically it's, a, it's going to boil down to performance in the in the ipl it's going to happen in short run well we have a strong message here for all the sports uh, lovers uh, you know you need to stay focused determined don't be worried about what is happening currently focus and prepare yourself uh, for future so that you can uh, you know surely make your place uh, sooner yeah thank you so much mr bini for joining us today and uh, in fact it is a real honor and pleasure uh, for us to have you on the panel today thank you so much it's a pleasure thank you very much and all the very best thank you thank you